fam great morning great morning great morning uh type of the morning had a lot of fed talk meeting however i am in my qqq zone here so i'm looking to short qqq around the zone i have my structure i have my snd a refined wick right there so right now what i'm looking at is this higher structure and right now i'm looking for it to short i'm looking to take it back to 260 so i'm going to be enjoying that let's do it right we have this one hour zone that we had that we had prior drawn now we had this new break of structure within this area creating that new impulse and it went to my refined zone now it's over so i'm shorting this Let's go. It's just a game of patience here right now. I'm gonna take it back to 260, you guys. I'm not gonna get confused on why it's doing that. But uh, let me get another QQQ on a higher time frame here. Let me get this in a five minute real quick. Let's do it. There it is, you guys. Beautifully execution. Just watching this right here, you guys. There it is, beautifully delivering. Just let it do its thing. Guys, I don't want to be one of those boring uh, videos where you guys are listening into nothing, but I don't also just want to keep on talking and talking. At this, I mean, at this point, it's just a game of waiting, to be honest with you, right? We have price coming down here to this structure right here. And what happened? We literally have price coming back up. That's why we're having all these run up. We went to our refined zone, which was amazing. And now we're taking put. So right now we're just waiting for it to take down all the way back to 260. Right. Sending it to the, to the group chat, I told them that QQQ puts right here, it looks really well. Right, so it's just a game of waiting, you guys. You know, I, I just wanted to share with you guys how I got that. Let me break it down real quick, right? I'll break it down for you guys. I don't want this to be an hour video of me not saying nothing. It's not cool. Mm, okay. Let's do it in the one hour because that's where I did it at. Right. So we have this entire giant zone, right? We have this, we have this new structure right here. We have a structure. We're we're in a super downtrend right now in the queues. Yes. Just going down and going down. So right now we have that structure from this high. But right now it's trading on range. But we have this structure right here. So what I wanted was price to come down, uh, to come to come up to the zone, which it did, and it fell. We took puts yesterday. We called out puts yesterday. It was amazing, right? Then we saw that bounce back up to our 263 zone. This 263.47 that I've been, what is this? This thing is blocking my target. Let me exit this out, I'm sorry guys. Right, so we have this zone right here. Right, we took puts. Then this 263.47, we've been talking about this for so long. It's still here and it's bouncing off here for almost two weeks now. So it loves that zone so much. So I told them take profits on that zone. So from two, 
from around, we called puts at around 266, 263. You said, get out, we're scalping. It's a scalper's market right now, right? So yesterday it bounced and I, I told them, hey, listen, you guys, I'm taking some puts um, the previous uh, yesterday and we took more puts, right? It came up back to that zone. So I said, all right, that's what's up. Once we got that zone, we also had this refinement, which I took out yesterday, right? Excuse me. That refinement from yesterday, from this wick, from this green wick right here, right? From this green wick. So yesterday we caught that, right? I gave that out to the team. I said, I want Qs to come up to the zone and it's gonna fall. What happened? It literally did just that. It fell pre-market, tried to come back up, right? It came back up. It came back up to that zone, so therefore breaking the zone. So I told them we're taking puts. And what happened? We took puts from yesterday and we called that run down from the rejection of 263.47 because this all happened pre-market, right? So I was confident that we were falling and falling. So today we had a new structure that was made, which we're playing now, right? That break of that structure from yesterday. So we, so I basically measured and asked myself what was responsible for this new break of the structure, asking myself it's around this area, right? If you're in my chat, in my community, I give that out. So now we have a zone coming up to there, right? We drew a zone, that refined zone. And now we have price that just touched that. And now what we have basically going on is price looking to fall and we're looking to take out that 260 from 266. So that's that's what it is, you guys. I just wanted to break that down. And anything can happen. Market is super bullish, right? However, it did touch my zone. I'm, I'm in the trade right now. I'm in the trade. I threw it out to my team. And right now, it looks like it's delivering perfectly. So I, I like it, right? Yeah, you guys, that's just the breakdown. It's just a game of patience for me. I have my stop loss right above the high. So it's like above the above the high of the zone. So I'm, I'm out, right? But if it keeps on delivering, I'm taking, I'm shaving from 263, leaving some runner, and I'm getting a 260, and I'm taking out the rest of my play. And if it comes up, I have a stop loss. I'll be all right. Yes? I just wanted to quickly break that down, you guys. It's the same DTE. It's Friday. It's Friday, and yeah, I don't recommend you trading zero DT. If you do not know what you're doing, but just watch that and make sure you trade safely, you guys. I love each and every one of you. I'm out. Peace. Enjoy your weekend.